The holiday shopping season is in full swing. The National Retail Federation expects a 5% jump in consumer spending on gifts this year. No matter how much we're spending, can we put cash back into our pockets? Like the sound of that. Here this morning, consumer correspondent and author Elizabeth Leamy. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, so with saving money, uh, what are some important things to keep in mind? I would say the number one tip that I have is to try to layer multiple saving strategies on top of each other. So first, know when to buy. Sites like dealnews.com actually track sale trends for different categories of merchandise and they can tell you when prices are at their rock bottom. So for mm -hmm. example, toys, they say, are at their cheapest during the middle two weeks of December. Now you know. The other thing is don't settle for just a sale or a coupon. Again, layer them. So my own sweater, originally $120 on sale for $80, but I dug up a coupon and got <laughs> it for $64. And by the way, I'm a big believer in mobile coupons because that way you've got them right there on your phone and you don't forget to bring them with you. Mm -hmm. And that's, you know, the real strategy is that layering. What about social media? I feel like it's playing even a larger role with each year in savings. Boy, are you right. Social media, the internet in general, really put shoppers in the driver's seat. So the first thing you want to do is, if you've got some favorite retailers, go to their websites, like, like their Facebook pages, mm -hmm. follow them on Instagram and Twitter, and also join their e-clubs, join their e-newsletters. Set up a separate shopping email if you need to to do that. And some of them will reward you with as much as $25 in free cash that you can spend at their sites just for signing up, no purchase necessary. What if we buy something and we think we got a good deal, but then later on you see the price dropped? Do you have any recourse? Is there anything you can do? Yeah, well, you know, the old way was to try to track those prices <laughs> right. yourself and then hope that they would honor a price adjustment. But there is an easier way, namely a program called Price Rewind that's available to city consumer credit card members. And with Price Rewind, you buy something, and then afterward, city searches for you, hundreds Ooh. of retailers' websites looking for a lower price. And if it finds one, you can request a statement credit and get as much as $1,200 back per year. Wow. And while we're talking about getting money back, final saving strategy, the final layer is to use a cash back card when you shop. The one I like is the City Double Cash card, which gives you 1% cash back when you make a purchase and another 1% when you pay for that purchase. So spending isn't the only way to earn. And I'm really impressed with it and I've actually partnered with City to educate consumers about it. And one more thing got my attention, no category restrictions, those are so annoying, no caps on how much you can earn back and no annual fees. Really unusual for a cashback card. Elizabeth, we have about a minute left. Is there anything else you'd like to share with us? You know, I would say do your homework like crazy for the bigger purchases, mm -hmm. but set an amount for those little tiny purchases where you don't worry so much about what the warranty is and what the refund policy is and all of that so that you can rest and relax this holiday season, but also get your shopping done and make your family happy. What's on your wish list? Oh my gosh. I mean, I got the cashmere sweater already. What else do I need? <laughs> I have an eight-year-old daughter, so really my wish list is her wish list. Mm -hmm. So I think there are some crazy spinning shoes in our future, <laughs> a giant beanbag chair. Oh. What can I say? <laughs> That's right. At that age, those are the things that count. Yes. Uh, thank you, Elizabeth, right. and happy holidays. Same to you. Thanks thank so much. Thank you.